Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this exponential problem 5 power a equals to 0 0.5 power b equals to 1000. And now we are going to calculate the value of 1 divided by a minus 1 divided by b. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And in this video, I am going to share with you two different approaches to solve this given problem. And here's our very first method. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this equation, 5 power a equals to 1000. And here I have copied it down. And now let's look at this equation as well, 0 0.5 power b equals to 1000. And here I have copied it down as well. And now let's focus on this equation on the left hand side. Let's go ahead and take a power of 1 over a on both sides, on this side and on this side as well. And now let's recall this power rule of exponents. We can apply this rule on the left hand side of this equation. So this could be written as 5 power a times 1 over a equals to the right hand side I'm going to leave same thing 1000 power 1 over a and now we can see that a and 1 over a they cancel each other out so on the left hand side this simply become 5 equal to 1000 power 1 over a and now let's focus on this equation on the right hand side and let's go ahead and take a power of 1 over b on both sides on this side and this side 1 over b as well and now let's go ahead and apply the power rule of exponents on the left hand side so these nested exponents could be written as 0 0.5 whole power b times 1 divided by b and the right hand side i'm going to leave it same 1000 power 1 over b and now we can see that this b and 1 over b they cancel each other out so we ended up on the left hand side only 0 0.5 equals to 1000 power 1 over b and in this next step let's go ahead and divide these equations i'm going to divide this by that one so i can write 5 divided by 0 0.5 equals to 1000 power 1 over a divided by 1000 power 1 over b and now let's focus on this fraction on the left hand side and here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and remove these decimals. If I remove this uh, decimal, I can put a zero on the top. So therefore, I'm going to replace uh, this whole fraction by 10. So therefore, I can write the left hand side as simply 10 equals to. And now let's recall this quotient rule we are going to apply on the right hand side. So the right hand side is simply is going to become 1000 power 1 over a minus 1 over b and now let's focus on this right hand side of this equation and here i have copied it down and let's focus on 1000 and 1000 could be written as 10 power 3 and then a whole power 1 over a minus 1 over b i'm going to put them in parentheses as well and now we are going to apply this power rule of exponents. So this could be written as 10 power 3 times 1 over a minus 1 over b. So I am going to replace this whole right hand side by this form now. So our this equation is simply is going to become 10 equals to 10 power 3 times 1 divided by a minus 1 divided by b and now i can write on the left hand side 10 could be written as 10 power 1 and now we can see that our bases are same on both sides so we can equate our exponents by using this uh, basic property 
So therefore, we can write this one as 1 equal to 3 times 1 over A minus 1 over B. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3 on this side and this side as well. And now we can see this 3 and 3 cancels out. So we simply got 1 over A minus 1 over B turns out to be simply 1 over 3. And that's what we were looking for. So thus our 1 over A minus 1 over B value turns out to be 1 over 3. And now let me share with you the second method. This is going to be logarithmic approach. And now let's focus on this uh, first equation on the left hand side. 5 power A equals to 1000. We know that this is in exponential form. Let's go ahead and convert this one into logarithmic form by using this uh, property. So therefore I can write this one as A equals to log of 1000 with the base 5. And let's go ahead and apply the same property on this second equation as well. So this could be written as B equals to log of 1000 with the base 0 0.5. And now let's go ahead and flip this one over. So this could be written as 1 divided by A equals to 1 divided by log of 1000 with the base 5. And now let's recall this famous logarithmic identity. In this case, if we switch over these argument and base, we can write as this one. So therefore, this equation could be written as 1 divided by A equals to log of 5 with the base 1000. And now let's go ahead and flip over this equation as well. So this could be written as 1 over B equals to 1 divided by log of 1000 with the base 0 0.5 and now we are going to use this property as well. So therefore we can write 1 over B equals to log of 0 0.5 with the base 1000. Let me call this as an equation number 1 and this as an equation number 2. And here's our next step. Our goal is to find the value of 1 over A minus 1 over B. And here I have copied it down and we also know that 1 over A is this value from equation 1 and 1 over B is this value from equation 2. Now let's fill in the blanks. So this could be written as a log of 5 with the base 1000 minus log of 0 0.5 with the base 1000. And now let's recall this quotient rule. So our this could be written as log of 5 divided by 0 0.5 with the base 1000. And now we know that 5 divided by 0 0.5 is simply 10. So we can write this one as log of 10 with the base 1000. And now let's focus on this base 1000. 1000 could be written as 10 power 3. So this could be written as log of 10. 10 I can write 10 power 1 and 1000 I can write 10 power 3. And now we can see that our exponents are 1 and 3. So therefore we are going to use this uh, property. So this is going to be equal to 1 divided by 3 log of 10 with the base 10. Now we can see that our this argument and base are same. So therefore I'm going to use this property. So this is going to be simply 1. So this is equal to 1 divided by 3 times 1 which is same as 1 divided by 3. So the value of 1 over A minus 1 over B turns out to be 1 over 3. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.